What's up guys, Justin here with the realtimeessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to import SketchUp files into Unreal Engine using Datasmith. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to need to do to get your content from SketchUp into Unreal Engine is you need to make sure that you go download and install the Datasmith export plugin for SketchUp. So that's basically a plugin that you're gonna install that's going to export the data in a way Unreal Engine can read it. And so in this particular situation, you wanna to go to the SketchUp Pro exporter. Note that this only works with the desktop version of SketchUp. This is not going to work with the online free version of SketchUp. But basically what you want is you wanna take this tool right here, you wanna download it and you wanna install it. One thing to note is at the time of this video, which is 3.30, 2022, this is only updated for SketchUp 2021. It is not currently working in SketchUp 2022. So just something to be aware of when you're doing this. But this is going to download an installer file that you can run in order to install the extension in SketchUp. So then once you've installed that in SketchUp, you just wanna make sure that you've gone into your extension manager and you wanna make sure that you've enabled the Unreal Datasmith extension right here. So you're just gonna click on the enabled right here. Note that this is an unsigned extension. So if you get a message saying it can't load this because it's unsigned, you just need to go change your loading policy. You can find out more about that by clicking this button right here. I usually leave this on unrestricted. That's kind of up to you, but it will let you enable it even if it's unsigned if you select that option. So once you've enabled that, you're going to be able to open up a Datasmith toolbar right here. So what the Datasmith toolbar is, is it basically gives you the ability to link with different programs, right? So for example, you can use this to do a direct link with twin motion, or you can do what we're going to do, which is export to a Datasmith file that you can import into Unreal Engine. So all you have to do, is just click on the button right here for export to Datasmith file and go save that wherever you want this to be. So you can see I've already exported this as a Datasmith file, I just labeled it table. So once you label that, whatever you wanna label it, you can click on save and that's gonna save the Datasmith file. Well, then from there, you want to jump over into Unreal Engine. And now you should have a Datasmith plugin at the top of the page right here. If you don't, you can just go to Edit Plugins and you just want to look for Datasmith. And you want to make sure that you have the Datasmith importer selected right here. So that's going to allow you to bring in your Datasmith files into Unreal Engine. So then once you've done that, this is gonna give you the ability to import an Unreal Engine Datasmith file. So what we can do is we can just click on the button right here in order to bring that in. So when we click on that, that's gonna pop up a window and we wanna go find that file. So in this case, right, I'm gonna go find the table.udatasmith file right here. I'm just gonna double click on it. What it's gonna do after that is it's gonna pop up a little window asking us to add a folder where it can put the Datasmith content. So in this case, for example, I might add a folder and label it assets. And then within that folder, I might right click on it and create another folder. And we can just set this up to be our table right here. So then we can click on okay. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna ask us what we want to bring in, right? So we're not gonna worry too much about the static mesh options down here, but we do wanna bring in our geometry, our materials and textures, our lights, our cameras, and our animation. If you don't have a setup camera, then you don't really need to do this actually. But in this case, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that. And so when we click on that, what that's gonna do is that's gonna process the information contained inside of that file and bring it in, right? And so notice how two different things got brought in. So my model on the left-hand side, got brought in, as well as that desk object over here. So notice how those both got brought in as actors and they're living under the name table right here. So I can delete out my me and Bonnie model. Um, that's just my 2D starter model. We don't need that. So we're just gonna say, yes, we're gonna delete it. And that's going to leave our table right here. And so notice how we can move our table around by selecting this and then clicking and dragging the gizmo right here. One thing to note about this, by the way, is if we look at this, your grouping from inside of SketchUp is going to be retained. So if we were to go look at this, right, and look at the outliner. So the outliner shows us the grouping of our object inside of SketchUp. 
Notice how this basically brings this in and it retains the grouping of your outliner right here. So when you're bringing stuff in to Unreal Engine from SketchUp, you wanna make sure that you've at least labeled these so you know what they are. If they're just labeled group, 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 then you don't really know what they are and they're very difficult to manage inside of Unreal Engine. So one thing to be aware of is notice how these get brought in and the overall group pivot point is set based on your model axes. So notice how for SketchUp or in SketchUp, right, the model axes are over here, but my object is over here. The overall pivot point is placed on this point right here. However, the individual object pivot point will be placed wherever the axes are for your individual objects. So notice how if I go back into Unreal Engine, I click on my desk, this pivot point is located right here, which is much closer to my desk. So just be aware that that's how your pivot point is created inside of Unreal Engine. And so notice how this brought this in and it automatically mapped the materials. So the UV mapping is set up as well as it created different materials associated with this object. And you can see the materials that are applied to this by going into the materials folder in your table folder. So if we look at this, right, notice how it created materials for all of the SketchUp materials that you had in your model. So one thing that might be worth doing is before you bring this in, you might wanna think about doing a model info. And under your statistics, you might wanna think about purging your unused. What that'll do is that'll get rid of any extra like group definitions that are in here that you're not using or any materials that are in your in model section, even though they're not actually applied to anything. Otherwise, what this is gonna do is it's gonna create materials for all of those. And like the metal corrugated shiny, for example, we don't really need that. It's not really applied to anything as far as I know. So it's just taking up extra space inside of this file. So consider doing a purge unused before you bring all this stuff into Unreal Engine. But the other thing I wanna note about this real quick is you can come in here and edit these materials. So for example, our table at the moment, I'm gonna turn my camera speed down just a bit, but notice how at the moment it's somewhat glossy, right? So this object right here, you can see how it has wood veneer 01, which is the material that was automatically created. That's our material instance that's applied to this object. Let's say that we wanted to adjust the way that it looks we can double click on this and that's gonna bring in the data smith window where it shows you how it's setting up this material. Well, if you wanna get even more in depth, you can take this material and double click on it in order to edit the shader associated with this. And so basically what that's gonna do is right now we've got our little preview right here and I'm gonna turn this a little bit just so you can see what the sun's doing. And notice how this is set up just a basic material with just a texture applied to it. However, you can also come in here and edit this with different things. So for example, let's say I wanted this to be shinier. I can add a constant value in here like this and I can set the value on the left-hand side. So notice how when I do that, right, this is a lot glossier. So I could use this to set a roughness value of like 0.25 in here, or we'll do 0.13 actually, because I want this to be shinier than it was before. So notice how at the moment it's moderately shiny, but if you click on the save button right here, you're going to adjust that material and notice how I'm getting a lot more gloss in here. So when it sets up these materials, when you import them, you can go in and you can actually adjust the materials that are created to make them more realistic inside of Unreal Engine. All right, so that's a quick overview of the way you can bring SketchUp files into Unreal Engine. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you have any issues with this. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.